including the Sustainable Development Goals, or the SDGs, into your business strategy will allow you to access new emerging business opportunities while acting responsibly. In today's video, I'm sharing with you six examples on how you can implement the SDGs into your business. Let's find out how. Hello there, I'm Elinka Dumitru Blanchard and welcome to my channel, the place to be for impact driven organizations and entrepreneurs. On this channel, I'm sharing with you tips and strategies for growing your projects and activities while making a difference in the world. So if you're new here, hit the subscribe button below and activate the bell so that you get notified with every single video that comes out. Before we dive into my six examples on how you can implement the SDGs into your business, let's find out a bit more about the Sustainable Development Goals. The SDGs are a plan of action at a social, environmental and economic level and they were adopted at the UN Summit on Sustainable Development back in September 2015. But the UN Sustainable Development Summit was not the first occasion. Back in 1972, the UN member states decided to create a summit per decade where they could discuss the different social and environmental issues and challenges. These summits are today informally known as the Earth Summits. And two of the key moments for these summits were the signing of the Rio Declaration on Environment and Development at the Earth Summit in 1992 and the Millennium Development Goals established in 2000 at the UN Millennium Summit. Finally, back in 2015, the eight Millennium Development Goals have been replaced by the 2030 Agenda on Sustainable Development and its 17 Sustainable Development Goals and 169 targets. The five principles of the SDGs are people as they fight zero poverty and zero hunger, planet as they fight the environmental degradation, peace as they want to reach just and peaceful, inclusive societies, prosperity as they aim to reach fulfilling lives and economic progress at a technological, social and environmental level, and partnerships because the SDGs are funded on the collaboration of all stakeholders and all parties involved all over the planet. But why are so important the SDGs for businesses? It is shown that fulfilling the 17 SDGs will allow to create more than 400 million new jobs all over the planet and will open new markets valued at more or less 12 trillion euros or dollars. Moreover, your business will gain consumers' trust and respect. You will be able to use more efficiently the resources that you have, whether that is financial, economic, human resources, or energy resources. You will open your business to new markets and the environment, the economical environment where your business is acting will be more stable as there will be res less risks at an economical or environmental level. Moreover, the Declaration on Sustainable Development Goals highlights the crucial roles that the private actors such as businesses, NGOs and so on play in fulfilling the SDGs. But it's important to recognize that not all the SDGs may be relevant to all the businesses. This is why companies must assess the risks and the impacts in order to determine what SDGs might be relevant and applicable to their own business model and business strategy. My first two tips on how you can implement the Sustainable Development Goals into your business go under the fifth SDG, that is to achieve gender equality for women and girls all over the planet. 
One of the targets of the Sustainable Development Goal is to end with all the discrimination for women and girls. And you can do so within your business by applying equal salary policies. And that is having equal salaries for men and women, no matter their gender. You can even get certified by the Equal Salary Organization. That is a Swiss-based organization working with the Geneva University Employment Observatory. Another way of participating to this Sustainable Development Goal is to ensure full participation of women and equal opportunities for leadership and in the decision-making process at a social, economical, political level. You can do so by giving, for example, 30 to 40% of the senior management post to women. And this can be succeeded by implementing a lifelong learning program that takes into consideration the different steps and moments in a woman's life, such as maternity, pregnancy, maternity leave, and so on. It is very interesting to identify at your national level which stakeholders work on these kind of issues. Because, for example, in Denmark, there is the Gender Diversity Roundtable. Their mission is to identify concrete and actionable easy steps in order to advance gender diversity with the objective to strengthen performance and promote gender diversity in senior management teams. My next two tips are under the SDG number 11 that aims to make cities and human settlements more resilient, sustainable, safe and inclusive. One of the targets of this SDG is to ensure access for all to safe, affordable housing and basic services. In order to achieve this target, your business can partner with NGOs that work in this field by offering volunteers that are your own employees or donations. And one of the NGOs that work in this area is Habitat for Humanity. Habitat for Humanity proposes microfinance, fights energy poverty and builds infrastructure, especially related to sanitation and hygiene. As they are present worldwide with a very good local network, you will be able to find them in your region. Another target under the SDG 11 is to reduce the per capita environmental impact of cities, paying special attention to air quality and waste management. Your business can participate in initiatives for food surplus management. And a very interesting example is the project developed in France by Too Good To Go. Too Good To Go is a French initiative that fights food waste by proposing a large, broad network of shops that sell their unsold products at very competitive prices. You can choose to buy these products and after donate them to the charity. And if you do not know which charity is the best, you can always contact Neighborly, an NGO established in the UK that proposes to connect companies with small charities. My last two examples on how you can implement the SDGs into your business are under the SDG number 15. The SDG number 15 aims to protect, restore and promote a sustainable use of terrestrial ecosystems, manage land desertification, halt biodiversity loss. One of the targets of this SDG is to ensure conservation, restoration and sustainable use 
of forests. One of the actions that you can implement in order to participate to this target is to change your search engines to Ecosia. Ecosia is a German search engine created in 2009 that plants trees while you're searching the net. In 10 years time, Ecosia managed to plant almost 80 million trees in 15 countries and overall 20 projects in Spain, Central and Southern America, Africa, Southeastern Asia, and so on. Another target under the SDG 15 where your business can have an impact is the one destined to reduce the loss of biodiversity and protect threatened species. So this target is not destined only to the farming or industry sectors. And a very good example is that your business can participate through donations in projects that help threatened species or biodiversity loss, such as rent a bee project like for example the, uh, the rent a bee project in India or Polynes in France and so on. Question of the day. Has your business participated in a sustainable development project? Leave your answer in the comment section below and share your ideas with the community of engaged entrepreneurs and organizations. Leave a thumbs up if you found this video useful and share it with others who might benefit from it. And if you want to learn more on how climate change and the COP agreements affect your businesses, subscribe and stay tuned because in my next video I will be sharing with you six tips on how your business can tackle climate change today. Until then, Thank you so much for watching this video and staying until the end. And remember, tomorrow's world starts with you.